All right, we'll go and give Anna one. Got to make sure Anna has one. Even though she's... <coughs> so, here we go. We have z squared minus... Is this on here? Yeah, it's number two. We have z squared minus 10z plus c. And what we want to do is we're going to find the value of c that is going to um, create, complete the square, or create a perfect square trinomial. This is all part of our completing the square, but it's going to go back to um, kind of like on our third step in, in our process of completing this square, this is going to be the process we're going to do. So what we want to do is right now, we have a quadratic, and we want to make that quadratic a perfect square. All right. Now remember, a perfect square is we can rewrite it as a binomial squared, which we'll get more into later. For not right now, all I want you guys to do is to remember that all quadratics can be written in the form of ax plus bx plus c, and all we're going to do for these problems, for step one, is you're just going to do b divided by two and square it. So this, these problems is all we're going to do. So we're going to take negative ten divided by two and square it. Well, negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 squared equals 25. Therefore, we have z squared minus 10z plus 25. Remember, it's negative 5 times negative 5, so it's going to be a positive 25. All right. Yeah, all, yeah. You'll plenty of room. You don't need to do all this. All you're going to this is just your answer. So c equals 25. All right. And that's and the reason why we're doing it, why, the reason why we want a perfect square trinomial, because what we're going to do, if you remember, the next step is to write it as a binomial squared. We do x plus b divided by two, and then square it. So the next step you do is the x plus our b, which is negative ten divided by two, squared equals x minus five squared. Okay. Yeah, 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 it's easy, easy, easy. Thank you. Okay. So, 